Scheduled for 12. Steve, one of my keys to victory was for Morrell. It's his overall speed, hands and feet. And when he's winning the round, it's because he's using his feet. His feet to get out of the way, like there, at arm's way, and then his hand That's speed in combination. So that's something we're going to keep Let watching on as this fire. fight progresses. Let him fire. the longest layoff of his career, and we wonder going in if that might be a factor. Now, which it meanwhile, last fought in April. All right, stop! Stop! Break! This is the type of fight where attrition could become a huge factor come rounds 8, 9, 10, and 11. This is a high pace fight, a lot of pressure, big bombs being thrown. And many of Kowitschik's fights, Bobby, have gone at least 10 rounds or 12 rounds. His very first fight was a 12 rounder. They don't waste time in Thailand. And again, the fact that he had two, right, stop, over 200 stop. Muay Thai fights no, no, no. says volumes about his toughness and durability. I think that's going to be a big factor as well as his condition. As long as he doesn't start kicking. That would be bad. He said he did do that early in his traditional boxing career out of instinct. A wild left hook there by Kawichit that nailed Morrell and slowed him down momentarily. Morrell's using an awful lot of energy when he retreats, moves side to side with his legs. That could be a factor too as we get laid in the fight. Let him go, Ben. Let him go, Dan. Heading for the bell, round three. Stop! Okay. Nama, I call back. Nama. Bye. Good, very good, yeah. Some water, some water. Maybe like that? No, not, nothing happened. Very good, very good. Uh, he just hit, he just hit him. So, put some Vaseline on him. Vaseline. In, in, the, in the box, in the box, in the box, Vaseline. Make sure they clean the axe yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Eric Morrell told us the left hook right here. His left hand was going to be using his left hand right on the jaw. We're going to see a nice double left hook. He said this is going to be one of his big keys. Banging that left hook, his bread and butter punch. There's the first one, and he'll wait, lock, come back with a second one. Two very nice clean left hooks. Let's go out. Ended around. Morrell is sort of retreating, boxing, trying to get out of harm's way. And to his credit, Kawichi is chasing. Oh. All right, let's go. Our thanks to translator Chuang Eddie Tum Kit. Telling us what uh, Kawichit's trainer, Sutep Nanakorn, was saying in the corner. More and more as this fight unfolds, that jab of Eric Morales is going to become a huge factor. Establishing that jab is going to disrupt the entire rhythm of Kawichit chasing him and score points. Morrell left hand happy. We did tell you he has had problems with the right hand. Calcium deposit building up on top of the hand, swelling. He said it's okay heading into this fight. But he says it doesn't matter because the left hook is his big weapon anyway, as Bobby uh, has been pointing out. Stop, stop, break, let's go. Good countering right hand of the chin by Cal Witchett. As this fight been starting to form a pattern. You see that Morell is trying to block and he walks into one. Morell was momentarily staggered. It was a combination of him getting caught with a good punch deep because his legs were not on balance. And I think they kind of crossed feet a little bit. But I'll tell you what, the first round was a close round that I gave to Morell. The second round, even closer to the challenger, but back to the champion. Champion developing his boxing skills and showing them. And just a note, Bobby, Morell has never been down as a pro or amateur. An illustrious amateur career, but Morrell coming back strong now. This attack by Cal Witchett urges 
urging Morell on. Well, he realizes that's his chance. If he can get Morell to stop and stand with him, that's better suited to his style, better suited to his assets. Morell comes from the outside, steps around, and moves, jabs. He's going to have problems. Virtually unknown, then Housen Cowichet. This guy has more names than losses. It's not uncommon for Thai boxers to reverse their names and take the name of their training gym or their sponsor. So he can go by either Denkhausen Kowichit or Kowichit Denkhausen. Sometimes he enjoys being called Jim Gray. Uh, that would be interesting. Round four, 30 seconds to go. Again, it's the Thai fighter coming forward and belting to the to the midsection. With the, the pace has slowed just a little bit, Steve, because they had an incredible pace. He's still chasing, but a lot less in the way of punches are being thrown by both fighters. Ten seconds, stop at the bell. Final seconds, round four. Big left hook to the ear by Cowichet. Missing with the right. Stop at the bell. Some terrific exchanges here. Stop! That right hand off the shoulder of the ref gives oh, him a big no, no. smile Thank you. and a show of respect. Eric, everything all right? Huh? Yeah. Don't play games, right, sir? Be a sportsman. Woody. We're going to watch where that little stagger was. There you see, it was more of a, actually, the feet didn't tangle, but he just slipped out. His right foot slipped out. It wasn't really a stagger, it appeared to be one, but he got hit pretty good. Later on, Morel's trying to step off and bomb from the outside, but he works a nice left hook on the inside as well. Being sharp inside and out, that's his game. Box. Stop, stop, stop. Time. Referee Raul go with Taiz. Go with it. Time. Go over there. Not starting the fifth hey. round. Hey, clean that up. Get a towel and clean this. Come on, Woody. All of that. There's a mess in Cowichet's corner, as you can plainly see. A lot of uh, ice and moisture. And it could be very dangerous if the fighters make their way over to that area. Raul Caiz doing uh, helping out there, trying to get the corner to do some housekeeping. First visit ever to the United States for Denkhausen Cowichet, and he doesn't seem to be fair. First visit for his corner as well, Steve, so they may not have, uh, not just the rules, but protocol down back here. Having never been to a fight in Thailand as Kawichit eats a left hand and then invites Morell in for more. But Morell picking his, his spots here. Having never seen a fight in Thailand, I don't know. A noticeable difference like of the pace that Kawich is able to come forward. He's not working behind the jab as much. And it's hurting him because he's trying to throw big counters from the outside. Morell's too quick for that. Morell very elusive. He, he often turns defense into offense. We haven't seen him switch. Now he does. He switches to Southwood. Just on cue, as I said. Trying to confuse his opponent. Let him go, Eric. Let him the go. Announcers. One of the recent criticisms of Morrell is that he has he has been too defensive, too safety first. And, uh, Hands are free, fun. Are you seeing any evidence of that? You know, not right now. He's got a guy in front of him who's very aggressive. Who's, he's slowed down some of that aggressive nature by putting the jab in his face and laying some nice two, three, and four punch combinations on Kawichit. But right now, I don't think he's being too cautious. But he's being properly cautious and being smart boxing. <laughs> How about this for press row score? They're all scoring different fights. <laughs> Carlos Arias from the Orange County Register, Doug Fisher, MaxBoxing.com, Jerry McGee, San Diego Union Tribune. Interesting. Well, I have a 39-37 myself, so it's, uh, it's interesting. 
and I favor uh, the champion Eric Morrell. Those scores aren't really off by much. There's, there's, you know, some of these rounds, I can't impress upon people. are so difficult to score. They're so tight. It's very, very difficult. Carlos Arias giving no rounds to Morrell, one even. Doug Fisher giving one to Morrell, and McKee four rounds Ten to seconds, Morrell. So the quite a uh, disparity there. There's something, there's something wrong in that trio. As we head to the bell for round five. Hands are free. I'm a firm believer they should establish this school for scoring. Oh, okay. Here are Thai transfers. Chuang Tunkin. No ice, no ice. No ice, no ice now. Yeah. Breathing, deep breathing.